Hey guys, targeted individuals and non-targeted individuals. Um, I got to my parents' house. They went to Florida this weekend, so I just got over here about an hour ago and started kind of getting set up. And I'm I'm uploading some videos on one of my mom's computers that it looks like I'll be able to upload them on. And I just want to show. I'm going to make a very short video, a couple minute video. Um, let me see. I want to see if I can show you all this. So it was about an hour ago that I got here. And then I saw big Kim Trail right across you know, the window I look out. I don't know if y'all can see it. I mean, that's, that's like pretty light uh, compared to what they usually do to me. Um, but when I get over here, I start seeing chemtrails over here. And when I'm at my house, I see chemtrails over there. Um, and oh, look, there's one being made right now, right above that one. Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Air Force is doing some chemtrails. Those aren't contrails. Those aren't vapor trails. Those are actually payloads and I've been studying them and there's actually patents on the payloads that they uh, release um, I guess I just I do want to say like I don't know if somebody can convince me of nanotechnology um, like in that that they have nano bits or nanoparticles in in chemtrails like I mean I would like to be convinced but I still think that it's chemical um, I do think there are chemicals in it that um, react with the directed energy weapons and, and make it uh, make it more powerful effect on your body. Um, so I kind of I kind of disagree with the nano bits and the nanoparticle theories. But if somebody can really convince me, you know, I'd like to kind of be convinced of it. That may be a contrail the guys doing over it. But under it is a chemtrail, because that's dissipating what's coming out of the back of his. I don't know if y'all can even see it. I may just be pointing to a sky. I'll kind of put it up and down. But I just got over here. They just follow me everywhere. It's like, I, I think, you know, you know, they've alerted people in this neighborhood. I'm just on a list, and, um, you know, being gang stalked and uh, tortured in my house. And y'all know that. Um, one lady was talking about calling the NSA, and she talked to somebody who said that, that she could get off of the list. Um, so maybe calling the NSA and saying, you know, I'm on this list where people are gang stalking me and telling them you're not a terrorist and trying to straighten things out where you get maybe taken off. Um, that might work, you know, if it, if it's some misunderstanding and you can get it cleared up and get off of that gang stalking list, you may not stop your immediate attackers from remotely um, hitting you with electromagnetic energy, but you might be able to put a stop to the vehicular harassment and things like that. Um, I'm going to definitely look into it. I'll talk to the FBI and the NSA and see if I'm on a list uh, and just tell them who I am, what I've done my whole life um, and try and clear that up. I don't think it'll stop Lynn from, you know, microwaving me in my sleep, but, um, you know, it could stop the vehicular harassment and a lot of those people from participating. Um, and Lynn's my main, my main stalker, so I'll say his name. I'm not going to say any of his family's name, um, you know, but I'm not saying his last name or anything. But Lynn is the my most hated enemy in my life. Um, I hate him so much. I think we should be on the same page. If he loves America, I love America. We love our families. If all that coincides, like we should be on the same team. But he is killing me in my house, and I'm calling him, you know, an asshole for murdering me. And it's just a big, uh, just a huge waste of time. There's so much other huge bad stuff going on. Um, just a waste um, but you won't get much from the name Lynn you know so that's why I do it and I mean he's given my name to so many people uh, put it on so many lists and you know people who will harass me and 
come in and microwave me and stuff like that. So he's done a lot worse than giving out first names. A lot of my friends that are targeted individuals think I should give his whole name and give the information where he lives and stuff like that and just go all the way. Um, I'm still not going to do that um, just for my own personal reasons. And I just I, I think that's dishonorable because, especially because of his family, uh, he does have a nice family who really doesn't want to be involved. So, um, so my hands are tied a little bit with him. Even though I have a nice family that I love, his hands aren't tied. That's that's kind of a weird thing. It's like I I know his family's nice. They're not involved in this. I mean, they're stuck in that house. They know what's going on, but they're not like complicit in it, really. Um, and he sees me with my family. And he doesn't have one thought about, like, oh, I don't want to hurt his family or anything like that. He, he would love to hurt my family and hurt me and them all together. Um, that's, that's a weird, interesting thought. But this is just a little six-minute video. just wanted to show you all. I don't know if you all saw it because I'm, I'm holding the camera a certain way. Where's the cameras right there? Just, and that happened about an after after I got here, and then somebody was doing... There's like two, and then somebody was doing a con trail above it. Last night when I was making a video on Friday night, there were two small craft, um, not helicopters, but small, like I don't even know how to describe them. They were just very small craft, like aircraft, not like UFOs or anything, but small craft uh, with bright lights on them, and then, a, and then a, like a really big military plane so there was three of them while I was making the video that one came this way, one went the other way, and then one came right above the houses. Um, and then this morning I saw uh, out my backyard military helicopter. Um, it wasn't a black helicopter, but it was a green, dark green helicopter go by, and I saluted it in my backyard and then when I was over at my parents house I heard a helicopter I went out and it was a police helicopter going by so they're really uh doing the helicopter stuff uh to me which I mean I'm not I mean I know where it's coming from it's like harassment and I'm supposed to be like ah the army's out to get me or something like that I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to react because like I know gang stalking I know their psychological tactics I mean it's not like the it's not like the police helicopter is going to come by and snipe me or anything. Um, they're just doing it to show themselves, you know, show that I am a target. Um, and and now I'm, I'm uploading videos on a new computer, I'm getting them through there. I'm uploading like four videos. Maybe I'll make one today at my parents and upload it while I've got this computer uploading them. My computer's blocked, can't, can't upload <laughs> videos on that. The computer I was using in my mom's office uh, for a while, for like a couple months, maybe two, three months, uh, that is now, cannot upload videos on that one. I could on her, uh, her HP, but she brought that to Florida, and I don't want to go on some of her computers because they're used for charity work, and these guys would, you know, put a virus on it and hack it and destroy it to, to get to me to stop my videos. But I'm retarded. I'm retarded and stupid and need to die, but they need to stop these videos from getting out, so go figure that. All right, now I'm at 10 minutes. I'm going to stop this one I'm gonna because I want to make some short videos so you guys can just click on the short videos instead of having to watch an hour-long video or whatever. I'll still make the long videos, but I do want to kind of try that uh, to, see, to see which ones y'all like better, um, to see which ones give y'all more information. Um, because I do babble a lot. See, I'm already going up to 10 minutes. And I really want to, uh, and here I go. Um, I've, I've gotten less funny, and I had this thought in my head today. And I remember Thanksgiving about three years ago. I think, I, I think this had started, but I didn't know. Um, but it was Thanksgiving in Florida with, uh, my sister and uh, her two daughters, uh, Lily and uh, Rachel, um, Lily being the youngest one, and she was probably about six or seven. She's like seven probably, so it's about four years ago. And we were having a great Thanksgiving dinner, and we did this thing where we had little pieces of paper, and we'd say what we appreciated about everybody. 
and I remember she was missing teeth and just she had turkey on her mouth and uh and it was so funny she gave me mine and it was it surprised me because I thought she liked Brian I thought she liked my uh, my brother more than me but uh, she said she was thankful because her uncle Kyle was so funny and uh so I've just been thinking about that today and like I've always thought of myself as like a like that's that's what's kept me kind of going being funny and I I really hate losing that and everything being so dark and about death and defending myself and having a shitty life. Um, and so kind of her bright face with no teeth and <laughs> eating turkey, that makes me think I need to I need to find humor again no matter what. And I mean, this is a ridiculous situation, right? You know, microwaves, people surveilling you, using the bathroom. People thinking you're crazy when you're going through something rough. It's it's lunacy. It's funny, right? Sometimes I feel like it's lunacy, like in a Joker sort of way, though. You know, where you're like, <laughs> it's so crazy. It's not a funny joke. It's a crazy joke. But uh, but I, I kind of I, I was just thinking about my nieces and I thought about a lot about what kind of world we're leaving them. And that's not funny. Um, but but that's the main thing I want to get out of that is that you know I want to be funny. I want to I think humor and hope and faith keep us going. I need to keep those going no matter what. I know I can help. I know I can help you guys. You guys have helped me. A lot of you guys are really funny in your videos. You know, you try to find the humor in this. Uh it's hard to. It's really hard to um but that's what lifts me up when I hear somebody say something funny. Like, I got a comment, like, I was out in the backyard, and I'll, I'll wrap it up on this. I got a comment when I was out in the back of the yard, you know, I saw the black fox squirrel uh, running across the, uh, you know, the fence. And I was like, oh, black fox squirrel, you know, because I've never seen one of those in my life. And I was like, I'm going to call you Sir Reginald. And then I got a comment, and it was a girl, and she was like, uh, oh, Sir Reginald, I'm going to call you Sir Reginald. I laughed a lot, and, you know, it's just, it's that kind of stuff that we need to connect on, and, and definitely information, too, but we're still human beings, and, uh, you know, we're brothers and sisters in this targeting, and let's make each other laugh, let's make each other love, let's make each other, you know, happy and uh, give each other, let's make each other smart, let's make, you, make, you, make each other uh, strong and faithful, you know. And it's just those things that, you know, make, make something kind of, kind of put, put the pizzazz in information, you know, because uh, Joel Osteen, he always does a joke at the beginning of a sermon and then a joke in the middle, and I love that guy. I can listen to anything he says because there's a joke coming up. Uh, and, you know, so there's a way to communicate, um, that gets the information out a lot better. But I'm going to go ahead. This is now 15 minutes. I love you guys. Short video. Just wanted to show you all that. Uh, definitely more to come. I'm going to try and upload as many as I can today. Maybe just make another one if I think of something that I really want to talk about. Like I told y'all, uh, leave comments, but definitely email me if there's something that you want to talk about and you don't make videos. And if you want to write a little article about it, I'll give you credit. I'll say whatever you want me to say about who you are or where you're from or, or not say any of that. Uh, I'll, anonymous article or whatever, but I will read it straightforward from you. Um, if you say don't do a commentary on it, just read the article, I'll also do that because I want to get y'all's information out to people. So I want to be a vessel for what God wants me to say on these videos, but I also want to be a vessel for if you have something you want to say and you don't want to make a video and you want to be anonymous, I will just read, I'll read straight the straight article because that really worked with Jeff and it really struck a nerve with uh, people watching the video um, because it was orderly, you know, I just read it and it was Jeff's thoughts and, <clears throat> and it got people talking a lot, so it really worked, I mean it really worked. And Jeff uh, should receive all the credit for that. He should really receive all the credit for the whole remote neural monitoring, um, you know, part one, two, part part one, part two, and part three, because I never would have done it without him. Um, and that's what we can give each other, you know, because I always wanted to do that because it 
people want to know about that the most and it got me out of my shell about it because it's so it's such crazy stuff and you sound like to somebody who's not a target individual you sound crazy to somebody who is a target individual you're giving them information where they're like god thank god i'm not crazy um so so it's a little bit you know it's that thing that's kind of kind of splits you and he's very brave in doing his article and and you know i'll i'll do that for somebody else um you know, however you want to work it. It worked out very, very well. Or, you know, make a video yourself. Um, get the information out, you know. But, uh, all right, guys. Short, we're at 15 minutes. I'll see you on the next one. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. And God bless you.